Hi, my name is Ryan Lynch, and I will be leading an arms race workout today. So for this workout, we are going to need dumbbells. So if you need to, pause the video now and go get you either like milk jugs or dumbbells or something that you can carry. So start, we'll start moving side to side, get a little warm, shake out your arms a little bit. There we go, good job. And next, we'll do arm swings. Loosen up our, our chest and our back here. And next, we're gonna do arm circles. So we'll start small and then we'll work big. We loosen up these shoulders here. And we're going to reverse it, starting small. And going big. Very good. And next, we're going to stretch out our shoulders. So we're going to grab our arm behind our elbow. You should feel the stretch from your shoulder to your tricep here. And if you want to feel it more, pull, try and like pull your shoulder down. So we'll hold this. In 10 seconds, we're going to switch it. And we'll switch. Left arm. And in 10 seconds, we're going to switch to a tricep stretch. We're going to put our arm over our head. Okay, and switch. We're going to take our right arm overhead, pull our elbow down with the other arm. Try and reach your fingers down the back of your spine. And hold this. And we're going to focus on your breathing here. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch it. Really reach that arm down. And to lower the intensity, you can just put your other arm on your shoulder and just pull from the elbow. 15 more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. And now we're gonna move to a wrist and bicep stretch. So we're gonna have our palms to the sky, grab our fingers, pull down. You should feel the stretch from your bicep to your wrist here. Fifteen more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and switch it. Left hand. And after this, we're going to move into curls. We can have our dumbbells by our side here. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're gonna grab our dumbbells. We're gonna start with our thumbs facing forward and we're just gonna do normal curls. So when we curl it up, we're going to turn our palm to the sky. We're going to do eight each side. And 
Let me try and feel the contraction here. If you want to increase the intensity, you can slow the eccentric on both sides. To lower the intensity, just limit your range of motion here. Just go up halfway. Three more each side. Three. Two. Last one, guys. And yeah, perfect. So we can set these down. We're going to be doing two sets of eight or six on almost all the workouts. So we're going to go back to back with these sets. So we're going to do the curls in about 10 seconds here. Shake out your arms. All right, so we'll pick up the dumbbells. And three, two, one. Eight each side. Don't let your breathing get out of control. Try and slow it down. Deep breaths into the nose, out through the mouth. Halfway there. Two. And last one. Perfect. So now we're just going to set one dumbbell down. We're going to hold on to the other. We're going to do tricep over the head press. So what we're going to do is grab the head of the dumbbell, put it behind our head, and we're just going to extend up with our arms. We're going to feel that contraction in our triceps. So we'll do two sets of six here. Halfway. Two and one. Perfect. I'll just take a 10 second rest right here. Then we'll go back at it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Six of them. To increase the intensity, you can add more weight. And to lower the intensity, you can limit the range of motion. So you don't have to go up as high. Two more. Two. And one. Awesome. And we're going to grab the other dumbbell again. And what we're going to do here is shoulder press. We're going to be standing. So we're going to get the shoulder or the dumbbells up to our shoulders. And we're just going to press straight above our head. Straight up. And to lower the intensity, you can use no weight. You can just do this motion. And we'll do eight of them, so we got five more. Three, two, and one. You can set these down. Ten second breast. Shake our arms out if you need to. All right, let's get back into it. Eight reps of shoulder press. To increase the intensity, you can always add more weight. Or if you really want to challenge yourself, you can do what's the Arnold press, where you bring your arms in front of you, then back up. Halfway there. Three, two, and one. Awesome. So we'll take a little break right here. But next, we're going to have single arm dumbbell rows. So what we're going to do for this, you can either hold on to something sturdy about hip height. But all we're going to do is let that arm hang and pull this, try and get our wrist to our hip and our rib area. Really feeling the contraction in our lats. So in 10 seconds, we will get into that. We're going to be doing eight each side for two sets. And five seconds. So I'm starting on the left side. Just going to bend over, dangle the arm. We do eight sets, pulling it to the hip and ribs. 
There you go. Good job, everyone. Halfway there. Three, two, and one. Also, now we're just going to switch sides here. Dangle our right, right arm in front of us. Slight bend at the hips. And pull it to your hip. Increase the intensity. You can add more weight. To lower the intensity, you can just decrease the range of motion. So you can just pull here, but still feel that squeeze and contraction in your lats. Four more. Three, two, and one. Awesome. So we're just going to take a rest for here. we got another set of those, eight each arm. Shake it out. Stretch it out a little bit. Fifteen seconds here. And we'll go ahead and grab them. Five, four, three, two, eight of them. One. You can also slower the eccentric, the down, to challenge yourself a little more too. Halfway. Three, two, and one. Here we go. We're just gonna switch sides, switch arms. Eight more reps. Halfway there. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Now we're just going to take a 10 second, 15 second rest right here. Catch our breath. Shake it out. And what we're going to have next is an oblique exercise. We're going to hold our dumb one dumbbell in our hand. We're going to bend down. From the side, bend down, and come straight back up. Feel as if you're trying to touch that dumbbell to like the side of your knee. So we'll just have it really work in our oblique. Five seconds here. On our right side, staying nice and tall, head up. And we're going to do eight of these each side. Good job, halfway there. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Now just switch sides of the dumbbell. Eight on our left side now. Nice and tall. Reach down, back up. To increase the intensity, you can add weight to make these a little more challenging. To lower the intensity, you can use no weight and just alternate touching sides. We got five more of these. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna have one more set of that. Just set it down. Take a little rest right here, catch our breath. Ten more seconds. Go ahead and pick it back up. Starting on our right side at the hip, and let's do eight of them. And try and have a slight bend in your knees, don't try and lock them out. That kind of limits the range of motion here. Four more. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Now we're just going to switch sides with this. Nice and tall.
Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Perfect. Now we're just going to take a 30 second rest. You can grab some water, shake it out. But next we're going to be on the ground, working our chest and our abs and back here. 15 more seconds. Now I'll meet you on the ground. Okay, so first we're going to do push-ups and just your generic push-up hands about shoulder width apart and to lower the intensity you can be on your knees. This. You can be on our knees here and just go down like this the flat back or up on your toes. So we're just going to do eight, two sets of eight here. So we'll crank these up. And to increase the intensity, you can slower the eccentric or do a diamond push up where your hands are like this and it's closer together. Let's crank out these last four though. Three, two, and one. There we go. Still got one more set of those. And if you need to, you can open up your chest a little more, stretch it out. So we got one more set of that. Focus on your breathing here into the nose, not through the mouth. All right, let's do eight more push-ups. Push through it, everyone. Just want to go down. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And one. Awesome. So what we're going to do next we're going to be on our our backs here and we're going to do some crunches to work our abdominals and our transverse abdominals here so just take a breather for 10 seconds all right so for our alternating crunches we're going to be on our back with our legs at 90 degrees here we're going to have our hands by our ears, almost behind our necks. And we're going to touch our right elbow to our left knee. If you can't get it, though, that's fine. Just work it its way there, just so it's on the right angle to work your abs and your transverse. So we're going to do 10 each side of these, so 20 total. And to increase the intensity, you can hold it or slow or the eccentric here. Push through it, everyone. Halfway, so you got 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and 1. Awesome, so we're going to have another set of those, so we can just lay here. Deep breaths into the nose, out to the mouth. And our stomachs are going to be burning. Perfect, everyone. We're almost done. Just keep pushing through it. it Looks like a ghost. All right, everyone. You ready? Let's crank 20 more of these out. Seven. Eight, nine, halfway, fight through it. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. 
Awesome. So next, we're going to be back on our backs. We can take a breather right here. And what we're going to be doing next is just alternating heel taps, working our obliques and our transverse as well. So we'll get ready for those. Some deep breaths before we go. We're going to have two sets of 20 again. We're getting that core nice and strong. So we'll go alternating. Just touch your toes like this. Seven, eight, nine, halfway. 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. One more set of those, everyone. Fight through it. Focus on your breathing. Now let's crank out those last 20. And go. Three. Halfway there. Six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Good job, everyone. So next, we're going to be on our hands and knees here. And what we're going to do are bird dogs. So that's where, on all fours, you reach out your right arm and kick back your left leg. So it's alternating sides. And we're going to do 10 total, so five each side, and two sets of those. 10 more seconds here. And three, two, one. Right arm goes out, left leg goes back. Bring it back and switch. To increase the intensity, you can hold this position for longer, either side. Good job, everyone. Halfway there. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And one. There we go. We got one more set of those. We're almost done, everyone. Fight through it. And in 15 seconds, we'll get right back into it. Five, four, three, two, let's go. You can really feel that contraction in your glute and like your lower back, your erector spinae. Halfway there. Four, three, two, last one everyone, and one. There we go, good job everyone. That is the end of the workout, but we're going to do a little cool down here. Dust off. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit our hip flexors real quick. So we're just going to do knee drives. Really drive it up, engage your hip flexor here. We're going to do 20 total, so 10 each side. Halfway, 10 more. Four, three, two, and one. One more set of those guys. I'm gonna push through it. Catch our breath. We're gonna give this last 20 everything we got. 
And let's do it. Half more, halfway there, ten more. Six, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So now, just gonna shake out our arms, do some swings here. You can pull your arm across. Both sides. And that'll do it, everyone. Thanks for attending my class.